Hi guys, it's Amir with Amir and Alex Realty, and today I want to start off by reading a blurb I wrote for a post of ours, and then just sharing my feedback and encouraging you to share yours in the comment section below. So here's the blurb. The market has shifted, yes, but to us, here's what that means. In the past, we've become accustomed to a heated seller's market, so a, a box on the lawn could sell for an infinite sum of money. That's not the case anymore. That box will just sit and nobody will want it. But good product, presented well, priced accordingly, sells. The only difference between then and now is that you can't ride the coattails of your neighbor's sale anymore. You actually have to put in the work and you have to make educated decisions and no more freebies. So work with professionals you trust and who know what they're doing and you owe it to yourself to put your best foot forward. So this is just coming off the, uh, off the tail of just a bunch of sales that we've been involved in and then certain sellers getting upset at the fact that you know they're not getting any showings and they're not getting any offers. And the bottom line is you truly do have to put your best foot forward and you should in general, but we've become so used to these heated markets for sellers. We've seen products sell that are far less renovated on the same street, two months apart. And the thing that was much less renovated but sold earlier, let's say in a heated spring market, gets three, $400,000 more than the neighbor and that neighbor put in a ton of work and a ton of money with certified contractors and it looks like an HGTV special. And that's very unfortunate, but that's just a product of supply and demand and timing. At this point, the good news for you sellers is that if you have a, a product, a home that's actually, you know, you've put in good work, you will get rewarded for it. And that's great news because buyers will be able to weed out the difference between crap and good. And for you buyers, you know, ultimately you just have to look for the products that are presented well. And also, you know, the work has been put in. You're not going to just go out there and buy anything like you would have had to in a market that was completely frenzy. So this is actually good news for everybody. Uh, sellers, just make sure you put your best foot forward. Buyers, don't just buy crap. Don't encourage a shitty market. Look on the bright side of this. This is going to weed out all the people that really have no business trading in this industry.